Welcome back. So we left off by saying that when we tried to solve for the slope and the intercept using least squares, we created a quadratic error function in two parameters, e of m and b. We wrote that out and saw that it's a paraboloid, and we saw that we just now want to figure out where is the tangent plane uh, uh, flat relative to the parabola, so that's where we hit a minimum. And what I said was that's where the two partial derivatives in m and in b are both equal to zero. So here's an exercise for you. Um, please find the m and b that minimizes this quadratic error function. And the first thing we have to do, and in fact, the only thing I will ask you to do in this exercise is to compute these partial derivatives. Okay, so let me remind you if this is, by the way, notice that new, uh, this is not a d, this is the delta, that just refers to a partial derivative. So let me remind you how to compute partial derivatives. There's nothing hard here. So when I ask for the partial derivative of m, you basically treat b as a constant. And when I ask for the partial derivative with respect to b, well, you treat m as a constant. And then you just compute a regular derivative, okay? So pause the video and please compute for me the partial derivatives. Remember again that the derivative comes inside. So the, the derivative of the sum is the sum of the derivatives. So all you have to do is differentiate that one thing right there, and then you're still going to be summing because there'll still be a bunch of x, i, and y, i terms. So go ahead and pause the video. And then when you come back, uh, I'm going to show you the partial derivatives. Good. Uh, I hope you took a minute to do that. And if you didn't and you forgot, you forgot how to compute derivatives, it's okay. It's actually just one thing you have to know about derivatives, and that's really all you're going to need for this. So let's go ahead and compute the derivatives. Okay, so let's go ahead and compute the partial derivative respect to m. So again, the derivative comes inside the summation. Why, by the way? Because this is just a bunch of sum of terms, and the derivative of the sum of the terms is the sum of the derivatives. So what is the derivative of m squared times x sub i squared? Well, x sub i squared is a constant, but m is the parameter, is the, the variable that I'm differentiating. So the derivative of m squared is 2, the power comes down, to the power 1 minus what it is. So it's 2m, and of course that constant sticks around. So the derivative of this term is 2m xi squared. What is the derivative of 2m bxi? All right, well, 2bxi, for this purpose of the partial derivative, are constant. So that's going to get lugged around right there. Now, what's the derivative of m? Well, it's m to the 1. So the 1 comes down, m to the 0. Ah, that m goes away. So we just have a constant term. What's the derivative of b squared? Well, that's a constant. That goes to 0. What's this? Ah, this looks a lot like this one over here. I've got 2m and some other constant. Well, we know the derivative of m now is 1. So this is just 2xiyi. Ah, no m, constant gone, zero. Ah, no m, constant, gone, zero. So this is the partial derivative of that quadratic error function with respect to m. And notice, there's nothing fancy here. I just compute a bunch of derivatives in m the same way. And the only thing you have to know for now is just how do you do the uh, polynomials there. Bring the, the power down, uh, 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 reduce the power by one. All right, let's do the partial derivative with respect to uh, b. Oh, I guess I have slides here for doing this. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this here. All right, so uh, let's see. This guy here, well, there's no b, so that's a constant. Boom, 0. Ah, 2m, xi are constants. b is what I'm differentiating with respect to. We know what the derivative of b is. It's 1, so I have a 2m, xi term. Uh, b squared, all alone, very easy. Bring the 2 down. It's just 2b, no problem. Let's see here. Uh, that must be 0 because there's no b in it. By the way, that's going to be 0 too. Ah, that has a b in it. The derivative of b is, is 1, so that just gives me a 2yi right there. So now I have two derivatives. Now I'm still not quite home. I still have a little bit of work to do, but what do I want to do? We established a quadratic error function by summing up the square of all the vertical distances. We said this is a paraboloid, and it's the paraboloid we like. It's the bowl. We said that we want to minimize by finding where the derivative, the tangent plane, is equal to 0. Um, which is what the minimum is. That's the same as asking for these two partial derivatives to be zero. We've computed these two partial derivatives, so what do we do now? Set them equal to zero, and then do what? Solve for m and b. Well, let's take a look at those equations quickly. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Why? Well, the m is all here alone, and the b here is all here alone, and the m is here alone, and the b here is alone. There's no, there's no complications. B, m and b don't multiply each other. There's no m squared. There's just these lonely v variables sticking around, and everything else is constant. So I'm feeling pretty good about being able to tease those apart. And that's, of course, what we will do next. Now, if you want to take a jump on it, go ahead and try to do it. Take those two equations, two partial derivatives, and try to solve them for m and b. If you don't want to be adventurous on that, that's fine. We're going to do that next. All right, see you in a bit.